tonight new video so that's wet obviously this is straight after I finished the last video so this is wet so I've cleaned all the uh, uh, rust protection under there I've done it under there I've epoxied that underneath of there uh, and I've just put some uh, what do you call it some hammer right it looks very metallic -y. <laughs> it looks uh, it looks okay and obviously I'm gonna do the other side of the door now the door skin that I've got has been behind me settee for a couple of, maybe a year and a half and there's a crease right there but I think it's a pressing mark when I get the door skin out I'll show you and obviously where the door mirror goes door skins don't have the rivnuts for the door mirror so bear that in mind I didn't know that I figured it out yesterday yeah, I've got door skin out so it fits really nice obviously that's where it taps around there's the crease can you see it here you can just about catch it in the the light you can see it there probably when it gets tapped round fits nice over that hole there's no creases in this door just where that is there and obviously that that'll tap nice over that So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the door on now and see where it, uh, see where it comes up to. So I've got wheel arch on. I've got a wheel arch on the back that rubber trim I need to get a new one because it's not long enough the door is on but I think I need to move it back a bit just here because it doesn't fit exactly like it did the other one but if you notice the other one had a massive crease here Obviously it's not on proper yet this is the first door skin I've done all right so just spent a couple of minutes so I spent a couple of minutes pushing the door back that way getting the back gap bigger at that side when I do that it pushes too close to there so that gap there pushes too tight together I don't want that so I think that gap is as good as I'm gonna get it's quite wide from there to there it's not I don't think it's gonna get any better so I'm just gonna take the door off there I'm gonna sort of mark it up where it's gonna go I think that's the best I've got what I'll do, I'll seal it on. I'll get it on trestle over there, seal it on. Put it back on, just to make sure it's in right spot. Power adhesive, terrace on. I put the wings on we it's not a sealer it's an adhesive a one pack
once the door skin taps around those I didn't like doing that when I'm trying to put it on the door the door wants to move all the time you know as if it wants to flex it won't open there from there to there I don't know whether it's because that's in or that's out but it's on and the holes are gone wheel arches are just on test fitting you've seen those just to bring you in a moment I just want to show something so when I said a few episodes ago that black stuff you need to keep on as much as you can down here impossible when you're tapping those around all the paint cracks and flakes off because you're bending it around it doesn't want to stick to it so you've got to sand it off anyway but if you look along here so obviously i'm sanding along here to try and get it as straight as possible when i tapped it around i have dented it there and i've dented it there so there's a little bit of low either side it's not too bad but you can see the flake in there just uh, you see it where it cracks off rest of it looks all right but on the door i've tapped it down there a bit to try and uh so as it doesn't hit the door the the, the air post should i say so i'm just sanding across here with some 80s grit just to try and get it as flat as possible i can feel the dent there so i know what i've got to do with that uh you know first door skin i've ever done i'm okay with that it's not too bad so uh, now listen i hope i don't put any dents in it but isn't that a better sound for a door skin that sounds like the roof now none of that rubbish uh, tinny noises anyway we've come pretty much to the end of this door skin uh, problems I've had so when you put the door to there looks really nice door to there the gap is closer there right there so still the door is in the exact same place I don't know whether I can tap that out. Uh, I've grinded a little bit off, but I might have to grind a little bit more off. You know, the inside of the metal, because it's really tight. The paint on it is not touching it now. So before it was hitting it and uh, taking the paint off, it's not doing that now. So I'm going to leave that door skin there. That is my first door skin. That I, I'm not. I weren't a big fan of that. I'll be honest with you. I weren't a big fan of putting that door skin on. Uh, let me show you something as well. So these are my these are my mirrors. Now be very careful when you take when you're taking that off it. That dropped into the door door mirror. It took me ages to get it out. You know that bit there. So. That has had, looks like somebody's rammed a screwdriver in it. So this piece here, looks like somebody's rammed a screwdriver in it and made a right mess. If you, if you look there, if you can see there, I don't know whether it'll focus or not, or whether you'll get any light, but I've got to repair that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, fill it I'm just gonna file it a bit down because I want to use these mirrors these were the mirrors that came off it but somebody has painted them green they're supposed to be white and you can see that they used to be white somebody's painted them green and they've all cracked up so it looks like they've used one pack on it so I've got to flat those back down and repaint them They'll be going white. I'm not going to film that, but I'll show you when I've done them. Uh, 
I'm not going to film any more. The only thing that I've got to show you at some point. So the only thing I've got to show you is to do the sealer down the back. I remember what I said. I've got a little tool, a little uh, nozzle for a sealer gun, and it'll make that look as it makes it look really good. I can't explain it to you, but it makes it, but it makes it look really good. You can see down the other door when you're looking down the side. It comes out there. I think if I pull that out a bit from there to there. If I get a marker pen and get a panel pull and just pull that out a bit more than what it is I think I'll be satisfied with that because in all fairness it's quite flat I showed you that dent on that bottom of that door that tapes only there so that when I rest the door onto the panel I don't damage the, the paint on the bottom of the door but that, that Repairs quite good. There's no dents down here. There's just that there, but there's one there if you look there Let me see. So if you can see that crease there, there's a crease right there But I don't think I'm that bothered Some people might be but you can see the crease in the camera Just right there going up like that. I might put a skimmer filler in it tap it and skim it I might do because I don't know how much fillers on this quarter panel the other one's filled up there's loads of filler on the other side right so I'm gonna end the camera here I've told you about I've done that door and I've told you I've finished the uh, I've finished the door skin and I've told you about the door mirrors right I'm gonna leave the video here I don't know how long it's gonna be but I'm gonna leave the video here I've shown you the door skin I've just got to seal it and I'll show you that when I'm doing it because I think people will like it what it looks like and I've got the door mirrors to do but I'm not filming the door mirrors and I'm not filming doing the other door skin unless I see something that I've done better or worse because first door skin I've done there could have, it could have been done better but I'm happy with how it's turned out to say it's my first one alright so I'll see you on the next one Hopefully the next one it'll be on its rotisserie and I'll be prepping it for painting the underneath. See you later.